Yo, what up folks, Trev TCG here with a mono green Explorer deck tech. This is what I think is potentially the best deck in Explorer. Um, I think the most quote unquote powerful, and I throw that word around a little bit. First things though, I've uh, adjusted my mic settings a little bit, so please let me know if this is too loud, or too quiet, in which case I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do. This is not close enough to max volume, but uh, hey, I had a couple of comments saying, hey, please stop your volume, so... We're uh, trying some stuff. Um, let's get into the actual data tech. So mono green, obviously the big thing, the big pickup, Nykthos, Shrine to Nyx is here. Obviously Khan got a couple of new tools in Brothers War. And I haven't really played much with this deck in the format, at least uh, for like recording videos and stuff. So, hey, it's about time, long overdue, let's get into it. So eight mana guys, and then we have four Wolf of the Haven and Paradise Druid. The early mana creatures, obviously, obviously like these ones are a no-brainer. Wolf of the Haven is very, very standard. Paradise Druid, mm, sometimes yes, sometimes no. Uh, with Nykthos, you're gonna be able to activate Nykthos as fast as possible, but also doing it with mana creatures, make sure that you have the pips to actually power up the Nykthos earlier as well too. Um, so, yeah. 16 accelerants here. Then we have four copies of Ogre's Troll, the best thing to play off of a turn one, Elvish Mystic. And then four copies of Kiora, which, hey, ramp your, you with Wolf Hill Haven Lands just by itself. And then also, obviously, untapping Nick Cross, the big end goal. Um, four copies of Khan the Great Creator. We have a whole card board full of sweet stuff to pick up. And it is, incidentally, very good in the format. Obviously, hoses Grease Fang itself, hoses a bunch of other things itself. A um, bunch of advantage. Yep. Uh, two copies of Mr. Shakes of the Words, obviously doubles all your forest mana, of which you're playing 15, um, and then also provides you with some land threats as well. And then alongside that, four copies of Cavalier of Thorns. Um, card's just great, helps you find the next boss, and it's just a big beefy attacker or blocker, depending on what you need. Um, and then when around everything out, hey, normally we're playing Collector Company, but here we've got uh, Storm the Festival. Uh, I say that. I, I play a bunch of I've, I've played a bunch of cl different collected company decks recently. That's why I say that. But yeah, still the festival here, grabbing any of these kind of selection. Um, but again, also find Snake Boss, which helps you flash it back. Uh, top five cards, two permanents, fifty-five or less, just great. Um, the mana base not very exciting. Four copies of Nykthos Shrine to Nyx, a new edition from Explore Anthology Two. Uh, a couple of Lairs, a single Bosaju, and then fifteen forests. Now. The ability with Nykthos to just put a bunch of stuff into play is incredible. This deck used to be alright, I think, towards tier 2 um, in Explorer without Nykthos. But with Nykthos and like the new Carnitals we have, easily tier 1, and I think really at the top of tier 1. Um, and like, yeah, there is still like, the rock, paper, scissors, there are good matchups, there are bad matchups, it's Explorer, you play your cards, hopefully you draw the right cards, and um, yeah. Kind of similar to Pioneer. Um, it's been a tier one, the the, the en public enemy number one in Pioneer for a very long time. So you had had Nick Thos, uh, but yeah, it's a huge, huge difference maker. Um, so into the sideboard, and particularly looking at Carnival Great Creator here, because we have a bunch of artifacts to use for. Now there's a few different ways you can build here, um, and so a lot of these are no-brainers. Some of these you're like, oh, maybe I'd play a slightly different choice. Uh, Thomas Crypt, Graveyard Hate, fairly straightforward. Hey, my my new pickup from Brothers of War um, hits. Artifacts and enchantments. Pithy Needle, Planeswalkers, some activated abilities that you want to get rid of. Shadow Spear, where you need to gain yourself some life. Or get Trample on something like a Cavalier of Thorns to push damage through. Uh, Great Hand, obviously, nice card advantage. Darks of Sedal, when you want to for a land. Ratchet Bomb, either versus Dex Plane Tokens, or again, something like Elves, where they've got a bunch of CMC1, CMC2 things you want to kill. Hey, it's great. Pestilent Cauldron, which you're playing for the regenerative, res restorative burst here, not regenerative burst, that's a different card, I think. Um, buy stuff back from the graveyard. Uh, a wand for troublesome creatures with annoying abilities. Uh, Sky Sovereign, okay. Uh, just like removal. Uh, My Stone and Weak Stone kind of does the same role. The nice thing is that Sky Sovereign is repeatable, whereas this has the flexibility where you can, hey, draw some cards if you'd like instead. Um, a Godfire Statue, kind of help lock your opponents out of the game from like casting spells and stuff, but you can get that uh, going really, really early. Cityscape Vivo is a really nice pickup. So, when you, because this is also a cast trigger, um, rather than an ETB, uh, you can pop non land permanents. Um, they get pa Power Stones, normally they don't really any mana. It has an Earth as well, so especially if you versus something where, like, hey, they may be going to play counter spells. You're like, alright, let's, let's blow some stuff up, and then it comes back from the graveyard when they counter it too. Um, and obviously, 
in other matchups is just a huge trample beat stick that blows things up. Hey, that's great. Um, <laughs> and last week we have one portal to Phyrexia. Uh, again, another. New Why will it not show up? There we go. Uh, another new addition from Brothers War. <laughs> ETB, opponent sacrifices three creatures, which is normally their entire board. In your upkeep, put a creature card from graveyard onto the battlefield. It's a Phyrexian, it's, it's other types. Card's great. Um, yeah, obviously it's nine mana, it's expensive, but it just kind of clears things up and will end the game on the spot in a lot of play uh, cases. That's the deck. Let's hop into some ranked games. Now, I've touted a lot about this being the best deck in the format. Um, there is, obviously that's still like up for debate. Grease Fang is really, really good. Red's just got a bunch of new tools. The amount of times I've had to face down double idol on this week has been miserable. Um, <laughs> uh, I might... Let me know in the comments. If you want a red deck tech, I'll put together one. But if not, I think the deck builds itself very, very well. But even then, there are a few different ways you can go. And it's like... Uh, there are some options. We have Nyctos, we have Cura, we have Mystic. We have, pff, hands great. Um, love that. We'll keep it. This is always the point in the video where I'm like, Hey, if you're just here for the deck tech, that's cool. Um, love you. Uh, do... You, uh, maybe drop a drop a like, maybe subscribe to the channel if you're interested in more Explorer stuff. Um, I do a ton, you can see around. Um, obviously we're heading into the holiday period, so I'm going to maybe tone things down a little bit. But at the same time, I may well also just end up with more... Hmm, this is an interesting one. So, if I make Cure now, I'm going to have one, two... I got the Mystic in play. It seems like a nightmare. All right. Sorry. Um. Ooh. I was about to say Grease Fang. Is this? That's a. That, this one always tricks me up because it looks like it looks red, right? It looks. It's, it's a swamp. Um. This looks like Grixis Reanimator, which is a little scary. Uh. How do we want to sequence here? Not having a land is awkward. So we also have that things. Uh, I think we just make the cavalier three. That's it's a four then. That's not really worth it. Yeah, go on. Lots of too long. Oh no, client don't crash, client don't crash, client don't crash. I will say that I have not piloted the mono green deck a lot, so if I miss you a little bit, I do apologize. Um, I might do a quick reload here. Oh, I'm already down on time. Yeah, screw it. All right, give it a sec. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna be right back. Uh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Go. It sounds like we have not had a chance to, to, to pick. Oh, that's a nice cure I makes. So it sounds like a cure trigger going this deck. Oh, okay. Well, this is interesting. Um... for green. Now we've got seven. We need two remaining. If we hit a land off, no, nah, that's a bad idea. Make the troll. That we draw. Uh, okay. I can put the druid into play. Oh, I want to make sure I have enough mana. Oh, they got a response. No. Activate again. Let's storm the festival. Leaves us with six. Uh, hmm. I'm a little worried about what we're up against here. They're just going to concede. Okay, well, that feels really, really silly. 
Uh, if we have two, if we have like a really fast match here, I'll definitely play another one. I'll probably, I'll maybe play another two. Let's see. Sorry, I, <laughs> that was a mess. I was out there making a decision, but then before that, we'd also crashed. So, hey. Uh, obviously, we're playing cardboard here. I'm pretty sure I don't want to touch any of this stuff. It looks like they're on Esper Reanimator. Um, but hey, all we've really done is cast some spells. Let's go again. We won, but I still look kind of silly. We'll keep here. Like, we've got a couple of accelerants. We've got the Khan coming down fairly soon. Like on turn three. Feel pretty good about that. Informant's gonna get rid of. We're trying to look out what they're gonna react. Well, okay, so they're gonna. Obviously, I can see that they've got edges of treachery. But I mean, when I say what they're gonna reanimate, I more mean like. What they're gonna use to reanimate. They're not showing a black source. Second informant. Fair enough. I was like, is this gonna be like a, is this gonna be like a grease fang shell with an added add reanimator package? Or is this more likely to be like I don't know. Uh or Cavalier. Khan gets me away to exile their graveyard. Um, which seems good. They're also stuck on two lands. I'm trying to think about three mana reanimation spells in the format, and I can't think of any, which makes me want to play this Cavalier first. Kind of locks them out in the creature battle. Also, like, shores up us getting Sword the Festival. If we hit, like, Nick Thos, we can go hit both of these next turn. It's just like... The other thing is, because if I cast the Khan, it's going to get killed. Uh, I think I go Cavalier. Now we open ourselves up to be able to get... <laughs> okay. Immediately punished. <laughs> uh, but hey. We'll see. Alright. I want to know what they're... Like, it looks like an Esper Grease Bank shell, right? But obviously these agents don't belong here. So what are we doing to reanimate the agents? Um... Maybe we shouldn't put that on yet. Seven... Uh, four and three... I think our best land is to not place... Oh, now they have a land. No, you also have a way to defend the card. I think this is much more... Reasonable now. We should just be on the safe side and go grab a Tormor's Crypt. Um, like, now it lives, and then we can carry on doing things and kill them. But this kind of locks them out of the game. Alright, well, that was pretty underwhelming. Um, and yeah, sorry for the crash or whatever. We're going to hop into another game here. Here we go. Like a lot of decks just can't be a, well, not a lot of decks. There are there are a decent number of decks in the format that just can't be a con and play, or a con just going and grab a couple of things. Um, just weird. You have some you have some love a deck with some free wins attached. Go in, but uh, hey, all right, Rainmaker four twenty. Let's go. Let's duel. Got the play. <laughs> we got mana creatures plus cure plus yeah okay. Five, okay. It's gonna be a little tougher. We haven't drawn a third land. Ooh, if you're wondering why I have two elf lists in my decks list at the minute, because I built a. So I, I did a deck tech with uh, Abzan playing Reconstruction. Oh gosh. P playing both Reconstruction and Collector Company. That's Kyla's Reconstruction, the triple white card, and obviously you've got Shaven in the pack now. Like abs all together, but really, really leading into three colors. Um, when I win. And I've built another version which kind of take, tries to take advantage of Nick Thoughts a bit more. Leverage that. Well, this is this is this has been a bit of a travesty. Don't overthink things. This got a spec. It's a quote unquote spec, Yora. I'm kind of forced to run this out. If they have untapped land to activate Hive and decide to go all in to kill the Cura, I think we're just dead. Like, absolutely dead instead of just a little dead. 
This is kind of the sequence of draws that the mono that the black red deck needs to beat green though. Um, this is kind of base case best case scenario where we kind of got stuck on lands. They had the answers for all our mana guys, and then yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Like if they don't have the answer and we just get to make a howling next turn then or Nissa next turn, then everything looks a little okay. Oh, okay, they got there. Yeah, fair enough. So you're gonna attack me or Kiora? If you attack Kiora, you, you, you practically <laughs> from that perspective, they're like, oh, we can close you out to 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 eleven and then to nine off the shield red draw, you know, maybe the next turn. But if you kill the Kiora, there's just no way I can get away. No way the green deck can pull back from there, right? Because you're going up to four mana. Uh... Uh... I think it has to be the Nissa in the bin. You have to play the Cavalier before the Nissa at this point anyway. Yeah, okay. Let's go to game two. Fair enough, fair enough. Again, calm board. Not much going on here. We're just going to play. We're playing our cards. Most of the time, they're great. They get a few more tools versus us. Um, but, to be honest, the Black Red deck hasn't got like a great matchup. It has a pretty bad matchup versus green. In general. Like, if we get the, if, if we have a third land for Akira on time then, then they're, they're just kind of out of it. Especially because then all our creatures start drawing cards. But yeah. Akira gets us to four, and then any land gets us to five. Excuse me. Let me pull ahead in the way. Because even like, yeah, they can down tick to the Cavalier, but then we're going to go get a kind of back from our graveyard, and it's just all like. Yeah. Alright, we got the choice again. We're going to play. Uh, pain. So, no accelerant, but also we've got double Nick Boss here. We're going to send this back. We can do a lot better. I say we can do a lot better. Immediately get punished with another. The one lander. The problem. The, the problem is that, that the last hand could didn't have a play until turn, turn, turn three. That turn three play was an old growth troll that we couldn't cast. Um, here, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna go to five. All right. We keep five. We put a Nikthos back. I think I actually put Nikthos land back. Uh, land back. I think this is the actual way. We'll see. Just like, if we get to 6, then we're golden. They have Dress, which takes one of them, and that's kind of why I didn't want to bottom two Storm of the Festivals. But hey. Okay. Let's see what else they got. They might be playing uh, the Mind Rot effect, bring that in versus us. In which case, obviously that punishes the Mulligan super, super hard. I'll play the next plus out because they know about it. Um, but like, Unless they have a way to attack us, or to either either like accelerate damage they can do, find more hand disruption. Um, or oh, thoughtseize is good. That takes a cavalier probably. Yeah, cool. We're gonna get to five mana, and they can't close that very quickly. I always don't want to play this out because they're gonna have an answer for it. But the upside is too high, and hey, that's gonna stop them. Um, well, I'll slow them down from developing and killing us. Fatal push. Sure. Alright, well, they've doubled their clock. And they have Manlands going, which can exile the Storm of the Festival. They know we still have one in hand. We now have five mana in play. So you can cast any of our non Storm the Festival cards. 114, they're gonna get to attack us for five, and then if they can activate, they're gonna attack us for. Uh, which, you know. means we need to either draw a land or like a Cavalier. Cavalier probably still just dies. But, we'll see. Ooh. I wonder if they're digging for a land or for anything in particular. Thought he gets the Storm of Festival out, they knew about that. Okay. Basically looking for gas here. 
there's still a chance. Treasure here lets them activate the land next turn. Oh, they have the land anyway. Uh... It's like it's just on the festival. Um, I think this is pretty forced. Let me take this down on lands. We're still gonna have five mana next turn. The important bit is that we survive and get to get to have a next turn. They can go untap anime. Oh no! Okay. Uh, we land on one. Yeah, they go untap anime. Okay. This is pretty rough. This is pretty rough. Thanks. One of the Solar Festivals. You go to one. They have an active reflection. They have a, 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 they have a stead five ways past Sunday. What the word is. Oh, they actually had another book show. Fair enough. That'll do it. I'll play. We're at 20 minutes. I'll play one more match. Sure. And Black had a pretty good matchup. Um. But yeah, the multi five here was obviously pretty hurtful. They had uh, duress, thoughty sorties as well to take a while. Are uh, good cards. Um, right, we go again, one more time. Because the first game was kind of like it wasn't a non game, but the yeah, it wasn't very much magic played. Again, let me know how you think about how you feel about the mic settings. Um, I've turned my volume up a bit. Uh, so a, a lot, maybe. See how it feels. I messed around a bit with my mic sensitivity before, but I was still having some problems. Um, so hopefully this resolves stuff. And if I'm too loud, you can turn me down, whereas if I'm too quiet, it's just really awkward. And if I'm, if I'm cutting out all the time, it's also bad, obviously. Uh, this hand looks, it's tricky, we keep it, we have Accelerate on turn 1, into some things a bit later, Xander's Lounge, Yorian screams Enigmatic, ah, oh, I was going to say Enigmatic, actually, it screams Enigmatic Incarnation, um, one way or another, uh, though not all the lands, okay, Sacred Foundry makes more sense. Sure. Uh, One interesting point about this is that actually there's a good chance that they don't play any basics. I spent a, I, I did an animatic incarnation video a little while ago. It's like animatic incarnation fires. You got fables and stuff. Obviously, not actually seen green, so maybe I'm wrong and they're playing like. Uh, fires without the animatic incarnation stuff, which is also totally reasonable to do. Um, so, uh, I think there's, uh, I'm pretty sure we uh, uh, become a forest, it doesn't turn into a forest. You can tap this, make three. I don't want to necessarily have this one float around in danger though. Gonna plus on beside you. Swing in here. Alright. Then we've got a pile of mana next turn. Obviously we actually only have one basic forest here, which is, you know, uh, we will hold that, but yeah, we'll see. Yeah, so they've not shown green yet, but like typically you play like fires with Omnath. Um, or, okay. Uh, it's definitely a fires list. <laughs> maybe they're, maybe they, it's potentially, potentially they're not playing green, but generally you do. Um, actually the glass will mimic implies heavily that it's any magic incarnation. Uh, because you can tear for, okay, that, that's this, sir. I just done quite a lot of pressure here still. <clears throat>
We got a land. We can go five five. We can go Nessa plus Khan. I'm like Nessa plus Khan, or are we gonna go and uh, gifted it this way, right? And this way we are exposing one of our lands. Me to combat. Come about this thing. They're gonna scoop it up, fair enough. Alright. A bit too much going on. I was trying to work out, like, hmm, what are we actually getting here? The answer is probably the Haywire might, honestly. Um, but, hey. Oh, they just scooped up entirely. For 26 minutes. Uh... Oh, this has been an interesting one. I think I'm actually gonna call this one here. Um, thank you for watching, if you're still at this point. Hey. Uh, maybe like the video, maybe subscribe to the channel. I really, really appreciate it. Um, happy holidays to me, I guess. But also, happy holidays to you. I hope you enjoyed the video. And have a great day. Peace soup. Take care.